Hi. If you recall, a couple months ago, I did a teardown of a smart UF55 DLP projector and also showed how to hack the lamp driver board to bypass the control circuitry so that we could power the projector lamp by itself without needing the remaining projector circuitry. So I later found a very old external hard drive enclosure, and this actually enclosure uh, is fairly large. It was actually a parallel. Uh, enclosure. So right nowadays you don't quite see this kind of uh, enclosure box anywhere around. But anyway, so I found this external hard drive enclosure and it was actually a perfect fit for the power and the ballast boards to fit in. So I spent some time and put everything I needed to power the discharge lamp inside the enclosure. And here is the final product. So the fan uh, is blowing into the discharge lamp enclosure was actually there in the original projector and I think it was there to prevent the lamp from overheating so um, so I decided to add the fan back so I can operate this whole unit continuously now let's take a look at it so I plug it in and let's see so now as you can see I just turn it on and uh, it slowly gets brighter. So let's wait for a few minutes and it should be super bright. The dots you see on the wall right now, those are just some of the uh, the vapor of the uh, mercury. So as it gets warmer, as it gets brighter, the uh, mercury evaporates. And uh, as you can see right now, it's actually already getting super bright. So one thing you need to be extremely careful is that uh, the lamp is extremely bright and there's a potential fire hazard if anything flammable is placed too close to the, uh, uh, the lamp beam. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to grab a piece of paper and we'll see, uh, you know, it will catch on fire. So let's uh, take... And here I just have this uh, uh, paper and I'm going to put it here very carefully. Oh, it's super bright, jeez. Uh, super bright. See, uh, now you can actually see the hole it burned through. So that's what I meant by, uh, you know, you need to be extremely careful. And uh, so now let me power this off. And this is pretty much uh, uh, the maximum brightness right now. And uh, now I power it off and uh, we'll take, we'll open up the board. We'll open up the case rather to see uh, how I fit everything together. All right, now I just power it off and the thing is still hot. So I need to be, just we just need to be a little careful. And this enclosure actually let me uh, unplug the power supply first. The power cord first, rather. Okay. So this one just held in by those two tiny screws at the back. So after we remove them, we can take a look at how uh, the whole thing fits together. Okay. So now let me uh, put this down, and we should be able to see the, um, the enclosure here. So this one actually, um, I think it comes off. I'm not gonna take that off. I just wanna show you the, uh, the inside, okay? So here I have a um, the ballast board, or rather the power supply board, is sitting right down here. And on this end is the ballast board. So it's uh, fitting in pretty uh, tight, but um, It's, uh, you know, quite functional. Anyway, so this is just a quick update. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please do remember to subscribe. I will catch up with you next time.